Hi guys, uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Mr. Lopez Classes.com. Uh, Today we are going to talk about the uh, high temperature, uh, overheating problems with inboard engines, high temperature in inboard engines. This is the most common complaint of our captain and uh, uh, boat owners. It's uh, high temperature in my engine. And uh, there are a lot of possibilities for high temperature and today we are going to try to analyze all of them quickly in this short episode. Okay, remember that uh, there are two types of uh, a cooling system for uh, inboard engines. Uh, one type is uh, a raw water system. The engine is cooled by raw water. The raw water circulates in the block and the head for both of them, for uh, gasoline and diesel inboard engines. Mm, that system is uh, every day less common, less common, less popular because uh, the people uh, don't like that system. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's not good the raw water is stagnant on the engine, especially if the engine is not used periodically. Yes, the recommendation is use the engine periodically. Use the engine constantly. Uh, that's that's the, the best way to keep a boat in good condition. All right, that's the system with raw water. And uh, remember that uh, if you have a raw water uh, cooled engine, uh, butt pumps, the raw water pump, the raw water pump with a flexible impeller, that pump, and uh, the coolant pump or circulating pump or fresh water pump, both of them, this pump with metallical impeller, that pump, normally is bolted on the block of the engine, this pump and this pump, both of them are working with raw water if the engine is raw water cooled. Yes, you need to be careful with that. And also, in a raw water cooled engine, the thermostat, is controlling the flow of raw water, no coolant. Okay, all right. This is in a, in a, in raw water engines. Okay, if you have a problem of temperature, you need to verify the path of the raw water and verify where is the obstruction. Probably uh, you have a lack of raw water coming out through the exhaust pipe. Because remember, at the end of the day, the raw water is mixed in the elbow of the exhaust or in the riser, depending if the engine is diesel or, 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 or a gasoline. And in that point, the gases and the raw water are mixed together and they go up. Okay, those engines are the less popular every day. And remember, the thermostat is working in that case with raw water. You need to verify if the thermostat is opening and closing properly. Okay, the second method is the most popular, the most common, is an engine with a heat exchanger or closed cooling system. Uh, in, the, in the heat exchanger or closed cooling system, uh, if you have a, uh, uh, complaints about high temperature, you need to isolate the problem. My problem is in the raw water side or my problem is in the coolant side. And analyze the path of raw water and the path of coolant and investigate where is the problem, where is located the problem and solve the problem. Okay, we are going to analyze quickly the, the path of raw water. Okay, the raw water enter in the seacock you need to open and close the seacock. Verify that the valve is, is opening and closing easily. And uh, remove the output hose of the seacock and verify that the, the water is coming out, number one. Number two, verify that the sea strainer it is clean. It, 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 it is necessary, open the strainer, remove the basket, and verify that the water is passing uh, in and out. Okay, and number three is go into the uh, raw water pump open the plate, remove the plate, and verify that the impeller is in good condition. Remove the impeller. Remove the impeller with the proper tool. Remember that uh, I, I recommend the tool in my book of gasoline and diesel. Use that tool to remove the impeller. And verify moving the impeller if the, if the blades are in good condition. Okay. Of course, if you found it that uh, one blade is broken, or two or three blades, those pieces of rubber will be located at the input of uh, the heat exchanger and you need to remove the heat exchanger, both ends of the heat exchanger, and flush the heat exchanger with the metal that I explained in class, uh, clean the heat exchanger, put them back the caps, and put them back uh, the heat exchanger in place. Exactly, exactly like this, what I did in the laboratory with my student. Okay, this is the path of raw water. Okay, remember that uh, if you have a, a, a problem with the, with the flow of raw water, probably, um, one sensor was activated and you have one alarm and the alarm said high exhaust gas temperature sensor. 
Yes, because remember, that sensor located in the elbow of the exhaust sends the temperature, the temperature of the exhaust, the exhaust manifold, the elbow of the exhaust. Okay, in a, if the temperature over there increase, it's because uh, you have lack of raw water. If you have lack of raw water, the temperature of the gases goes up, and that sensor really, really is a switch, open and interrupt the current uh, for the fuel injection pump, uh, solenoid, and for the transfer pump, fuel transfer pump, and kill the engine, stop the engine immediately. All right, this is normally one of the codes activated. Other code is high temperature, uh, uh, because the temperature of the coolant in the engine increase because the path of raw water is not enough. And of course, when the, when the coolant goes out into the, into the heat exchanger, the, the heat exchanger not reduce the temperature properly and the, the, the coolant enter again in the engine with high temperature because it's a problem with the path of raw water. Okay, the first step is analyze the path of raw water. What happened if uh, after that I check the path of raw water, I replace the impeller, I clean, I flush the heat exchanger, uh, uh, everything is, uh, is, is checked and uh, everything is working good right now. But when I start the engine, the engine starts, but a couple of minutes later, once again, I have high temperature. Okay, probably the problem is not in the salt water side. The problem is on the coolant side. Okay, you need to analyze the coolant side. Remember that uh, we are going to imagine how is the flow of coolant. Okay, the coolant is moving inside in between the, the head and the block because the circulating pump, the circulating pump is, is working. It's working, it's moving, it's moving, it's circulating the coolant. But uh, the coolant circulates only if the thermostat allows that the coolant goes outside into the heat exchanger and come back again into the block. Okay, this element together with the thermostat, they allow that the coolant move it, move it inside of the engine and goes out to the heat exchanger and return the, the pump and the thermostat located in the thermostat house. Okay, you need to analyze that path, the path of the coolant. Okay, remember that the coolant here, uh, this is the, 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 the cap, the, it's similar to the radiator cap. Uh, this is the heat exchanger. Here on top is the expansion tank, and here is the reservoir. The reservoir is connected here with this. Okay, uh, you need to analyze the color of the coolant. Verify if the color of the coolant is the normal color or uh, if you have oil in the coolant, uh, or uh, if you have salt water mixed with the coolant. It's simple, if, if you see uh, when you remove the cap, a, a little film of oil, it's because uh, oil is mixed with the coolant. If you have oil mixed with the coolant, it's because uh, probably uh, you have a problem with the head gasket, or uh, probably you have a problem with the rings on the cylinder liners. You remember those rings on the cylinder liners, perfect. Uh, or uh, probably the head is broken, the head is cracked, and or probably the cylinder liners are cracked. All of those possibilities are, or uh, the piston rings, uh, in some cases, uh, uh, in, in that case, uh, the oil will be mixed uh, with coolant. Okay, those scenarios produce oil mixed with the coolant. All right, what happens if uh, when you check the, the, the coolant, you see when you remove the cap, in the in the expansion tank or here uh, in the expansion tank or in the reservoir in both of them and you see calcium around the, the cap this is an indication that uh, a, a salt water is mixed uh, with uh, with coolant and uh, normally the color of the coolant change normally the coolant is orange or uh, green and uh, but uh, when the salt water is mixed with the coolant the color become brown and the odor is not good Right, you need to verify that. If if salt water is mixed with coolant, it's probably a problem in the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is cracked, and of course, uh, some salt water penetrates and is mixed with the coolant. And uh, you need remove the heat exchanger, send the heat exchanger to the machine shop, and they will uh, pressurize the the heat exchanger and verify where is the crack. Okay, other possibility for a high temperature is that. Uh, the thermostat stay closed and uh, don't allow that the coolant move it, move it uh, out to the heat exchanger and in into the block. 
uh, the best uh, way to verify that is uh, open the thermostat housing, remove the thermostat, and uh, verify with a pot with a hot water if the uh, uh, thermostat extends or not, replace the, the, the thermostat and start again and verify if the temperature, the control of the temperature right now is better, okay? And uh, okay, if the problem continues, thermostat new one, uh, you check uh, uh, everything, uh, the color of the coolant is in good condition, but uh, you, you continue with the high temperature. I recommend if, if in that case, with the laser gun, verify if you have more temperature in one cylinder than the other cylinders. Uh, that indicate that uh, one cylinder is running, is running lean and uh, the temperature in that cylinder is increasing dramatically and this is why you have uh, the alarm of high temperature. In that case, it's high temperature concentrated in one cylinder because the cylinder is, 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 is running lean. What is the meaning of lean? That the injector is not opening or is opening partially and the amount of fuel entering in the combustion chamber is not enough and uh, in the moment of the explosion, the explosion is lean and the temperature increase dramatically. Ha, a prob problem with the injectors or problem with the fuel injection pump, specifically in that plunger, the plunger corresponding to that. In that case, you need to remove the, the fuel injection pump, remove the injectors, send to the laboratory, and they calibrate both of them, injectors and fuel injection pump for you. This is another uh, other possibility uh, uh, for high temperature. Uh, okay, those those are the most the most common problems for high temperature in an engine. Normally, the people say, "No, I am going to re to replace uh, the the coolant temperature sensor." The problem is the sensor. No, my friends. Uh, in general, the sensor is is an element designed to sense if the temperature increase and send the signal to the computer and the computer to the display and the display open the the code, the check engine light or the alarm related with temperature. But the problem is not the sensor. The problem is a mechanical problem in all of those parts that I explained. Uh, you need to fix it, the problem, uh, reset the computer, disconnect the positive of the battery 30 seconds, put it back, and right now verify if the code disappeared. Uh, normally, this is the process. You need to solve the problem and investigate where is the problem, fix it, and after that verify if the code disappear or clean the code with a special scanner. Okay, those are uh, the sources of a high temperature in a typical inboard engine gas or diesel.